the Bible says, and I'm sorry if, if, if you're not a you know a Christian or anything, but I really just think the Bible has a real has a very it's full of wisdom, right? And so I, I refer to it. The Bible says it instructs wives to respect your husbands and husbands to love your wives. Okay. So what does that tell you? That means as you show the man a man respect, when you show a man loyalty, when you show a man, your husband, that despite his flaws, that despite maybe, you know, he isn't where he needs to be or wants to be, you still respect him as the masculine, as the man, as the leader. And in return, he will love you. I'm not saying he's not, you know, I'm not saying you you're not going to love him. I'm not saying it's not going to go. I'm not saying he's not going to respect you back or anything, but, but that scripture refers to the nature of a man. The key to obtaining a man's heart is to respect him, not to cut him off when he's talking, not to always correct him, not to belittle him, not to emasculate him, not to always argue with him. To understand him, to listen to him, to understand uh, his logic, to surrender, to submit. This is all. This all displays um, respect. And again, in return, he will love you. He will give you anything. He will give you as many kids as you want, or as many as it, as y'all can afford. If you say, "Oh, baby, I I really like that purse," he might get it for you as a gift. I remember one time I was, we were at the mall and I was looking at a purse that I liked and, and I was just going to pay for it for myself because I don't necessarily like, I don't ask my husband for it a lot. I really don't. And I was like, hmm, should I get this? And he was like, mm, and I, I think you should wait. Whole time he was plotting to get me that, to get me that bag. And he, and he purchased it for me later. He surprised me with it. Yes, that's a material thing, but that simply showed how much he paid attention that show how sweet he is. And that just showed his love for me out of my respect for him. And I could have been like, no, nah, I think I'm going to get it. And then what? That would have that pulled the rug right from up under his feet. Yeah,